Dude, my, why am I beating myself so badly right now? What? Wait, don't say that. That's weird. I think we can all agree that parkour games are a lot of fun. There aren't really any free running games that I can think of that are just plain bad. From Dying Light to Mirror's Edge to the free running game on the PlayStation 2 titled free running. Even the mobile game Vector is a hell of a lot of fun to this day, and that game came out in 2012. Now with virtual reality here, we have a whole new way to experience free running games, and it is exhilarating. Look, I'm going to be honest, despite the good reviews Strat has received, my expectations for this game were kind of low. I mean, while the idea of a parkour game in VR sounds great, I just, I couldn't imagine it working very well for some reason. Whoa, this is so fun. I was honestly expecting not to enjoy this. Well, not, not to enjoy it, but I thought it'd be kind of like silly, you know? I don't know why, but I figured a parkour VR game would like, you need to be able to use your legs. But now that I'm playing it, I realized, what the hell am I going to do with my legs in a parkour game? <laughs> Quite literally about five minutes into playing the tutorial, I had been proven wrong. It works, it's incredible, and it had me sweating. Oh God, oh, help me, uh-oh. This is what I get for trying things. I feel like the main reason why I thought it wouldn't work is because I, I just couldn't imagine how the mechanics would play out. But the people over at Joyway, who are the developers of Stride, they figured it out perfectly. Now of course to move around you use a joystick, but sprinting, you're not just pressing down the joystick. You gotta swing your arms around like a friggin' lunatic. Oh, we're free running. Whoa, wait, did that just make me move quicker? Hold up. Oh, that actually makes you move quick, that's cool. What? And while that's something I normally do in VR games, just because I think it looks funny, it's actually a lot of fun to do in this game. And then comes along jumping. You don't just have to press a button and up you go. You have to hold down the jump button and then like, I don't know, swing your arms out in front of you. I don't know, watch watch a clip of someone doing parkour and like, you'll realize that's what they do. And it's, it's kind of satisfying to be honest. To slide under obstacles, you actually have to duck. And along with that, you have a grapple hook. And I mean, you mix all of these things together and you've, you've already got yourself a great time. The game's got four game modes, Arena, Endless, Time Run, and Multiplayer. Arena was the first game mode to try and in it you get placed onto a square patch on a city's rooftops, where you get presented with a variety of tasks to complete one after the other for as long as you can without dying or running out of time. The objectives range from collecting items, killing all the enemies in an area, to just trying to grapple onto a drone that's flying around, all the while you're worrying about the timer running out and let me tell you, it's stressful. Between this being the first time actually playing the game and me being an absolutely terrible shot. Bro, I can't hit these guys. Why is... I died. My blood was pumping the entire time. As you play and complete tasks, you get more points. And with those points, you unlock different drops that will appear in your game from health packs to laser sights for your gun to turning your pistol into a machine gun. I don't know. It's, it, it's there. You can also choose from a select amount of modifiers which will alter how many points you get. Next up, there's the endless game mode. I'll uh, give you some time to take a guess at what that's about. Yep, that's right, it's an endless run mode where you're pretty much just being chased by a wall. Sounds simple, I know, but man, it's it's also quite intense. Each run is procedurally generated so you don't have a path that you can take each time. Enemies start to appear the further you get and the way forward gets a lot less clear. It's super fast paced and forces you to get like very creative with each run. And just like Arena, the longer you go for, the more points you get and the more items and power-ups you can get each run as well. Got him. Good, 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 good shot. What a shot, eh? Fucking domed him in the head, bro. Oh, sh shit, bro. Oh, no. Thirdly, we have my personal favorite game mode, Time Run. In this game mode, you're basically just trying to race your way to the finish line, and the faster you get there, the more stars you get. Your ghost also appears from your current best time for you to try and race, which I... I don't know, I thought it was a pretty fun feature. Get out of my way, ball, get out of my way, I'm beating you this time. My original plan for my first time playing was to just go through a handful of levels for the sake of the video, but as soon as I completely failed the first level, my competitive side came right out in full force, and I ended up spending like 20 minutes just trying to three-star the first level. There we go, there we go, there we go. Hold on, hold it, hold it, hold it, yeah, good grab. Good jump, good jump. Good move. Get up there. Oh, that was so close, bro. Oh, we, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Yes! 
Oh. And of course, after I did that, I had to take myself straight to the hardest level of the game and well. Wow, hey, we did it in two minutes 35. Oh, we almost got a star. A minute 30, eh? Let's practice it. Let's keep going. Oh, I almost didn't let go. <laughs> Shit, man. Oh, no, he killed me. I didn't wall run. Oh, that was close, eh? Grab. Good one. What a move, eh? Oh, bro, that was close. <laughs> yep, good one. Come on, there. there. Holy crap. Wait, 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 wait. What the hell? We just did it. We just freaking did it. Second try. Holy crap, I'm good. And then there's multiplayer, which unfortunately I still haven't actually been able to play yet. I've tried a couple times to find a game, but I don't know, I must just be hopping on at the wrong time. I ended up being in the lobby for like 10 minutes at one point, so hopefully I'll get there one day. It does have a cool little lobby area though at least, so I wasn't just standing there for 10 minutes. You can at least run around and park all around the area while you're waiting. And then there's also some character customization. Hello, how are you? I am under the water. The single player mode also has unlockable cosmetics for your gloves, pistol and grappling hook which you can get by completing certain objectives. Somehow I had unlocked a few more of them which I thought was a bit confusing only to realise after the first game I think the game I don't know, like kind of glitched out something gave me like all these achievements. I don't know, hey look I'm not complaining. Another thing that I really liked about the game is that it has a fitness is that it has a fitness tracker. While I'm not exactly sure how accurate it is, it's still a nice little feature because I mean, I was not lying when I said I was sweating. As much as this game is fun, it's honestly just a good way to do some exercise. All in all though, I would say that this game was truly a, like a surprising gem for me. And if you enjoy free running games, or if you're just after a new VR workout game, I recommend getting this game and giving it a go. Although this game has also left me craving like a story mode style parkour game. I keep imagining a game like Dying Line VR mix this game mechanics with the zombie apocalypse world and I don't think I'd stop playing. Anyway folks, that's it for today's video. Thank you for your time. I hope your shoes are tied and your paws are cord. And hey, if you're new here, welcome. And if you've been here before, thanks for coming back. Bye friends.